What's going on, Jarity Nation? Today we have a seven minute beginner jump rope workout. Dudes and dudettes, I'm Dan Whitmer. This is the Jump Rope Dudes, where we help you jump rope, get lean, and live more. The burn and the torch workouts. A lot of these, especially if you've been doing the recent ones, you'll find are pretty difficult and they're that way for a reason. We want to challenge you guys to make sure that you're able to burn the most amount of calories possible. But we also realize that we have a lot of new people always coming to the channel and jumping rope can be sort of a daunting thing at the beginning. And so today's workout is just gonna be focused on getting your rhythm down and making sure that your footwork is okay so you can build a little bit more confidence for doing more advanced stuff later. If you guys want the jump ropes that we're about to use in this video right now and the ones that we use for every single video because they are the best jump ropes on the market, especially if you're trying to lose a lot of weight, they're the cross ropes. I linked them up below. If you want 10% off, just enter do the thing at checkout and you'll get it 10% off. And if you're like, well guys, this is awesome. You have all these free tutorials and free workouts, but I need help doing the thing. You're in luck because we created a do the thing coaching group. All the details are linked up below, but essentially you get access to our nutrition coach, access to every single program that we've ever created, discounts, promotions, challenges every month, um, and access to Brandon and myself on a daily basis. So if you need a little bit more help with accountability and you have some questions that you wanna ask as you lose all this weight, check out the link below. Ladies and gentlemen, let's do the thing. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so if you're picking up a jump rope for the first time here, it's all good. What we usually do is just get nice and warmed up, which means kind of just hopping around. We do a variation, but the point is just to get your body ready to jump. So we're doing some butt kicks, switch it up, high knees. Just do some jumping jacks here. Just get the blood flowing, get nice and warmed up, okay? So the first circuit uh, is also kind of a warm up. And I'll just be doing the first with you guys. My beginners, I want you to do this workout three times total, this circuit three times total. My advanced people do it four, okay? Good guys, good squats. Good, shake it out. Shake it out. A couple more butt kickers. And get ready, pick up your rope. Let's get on with the, uh, don't leave it super tangled like you, me. All right, don't start it. Good guys, starting off regular bounce. And then like I said, we're gonna switch to running in place. Okay, so start off regular. And that's a 15 second mark, which is now. We'll switch to run in place, guys. So, my beginners, if you can only do regular bounce, that's fine. Just do regular for this whole thing. The point of today's workout is just to get you acquainted with jump rope. Good, rest for 10 seconds. Just get you used to jumping rope so that you can build some confidence. If you're advanced, you can still do this and get, oh yeah, switch ropes. Half pound rope, guys. This time we're doing regular to start. Go. If you are advanced, you can still get a lot out of this workout, okay? So don't think it's just a beginner workout. Switch it up to boxer skip. Good, guys. And then for those listening on audio, we are using the half pound cross rope right now. We're gonna switch back to the quarter pound. Go, guys. And done, go back to the quarter. Try and up the speed a little bit as you go throughout this workout as well. This time we got regular and single leg. Here we go. Regular bounce. Notice guys, especially my beginners, my feet only jumping an inch or two off the ground. Uh, my elbows are in, my wrists are jutting out to the sides of my hips. And switch it up, we'll go one leg. So you're just jumping rope on one leg now. There you go guys. And again, if you need to, switch legs. Just stick with regular bounce if you need to, okay? One, and done. See, you're already like halfway through this first circuit. Back 
to the top. We're going regular bounce plus run in place. Let's go guys, with the half down rope. Like I said, if you're advanced, there's no reason that you can't get an intense workout doing this. You absolutely can. Again, it comes down to how fast are you spinning the rope? Switch to run in place. If you're just kind of like going like that, you're not going to get any results. But if you're spinning it fast and with intention and intensity, you're going to be good. Good. Back to the quarter. We got regular bounce and boxer skip. Here we go, guys. Regular. Try and up the speed every time you do this, okay? There we go. And boxer, good. Good, just alternating the weight of that feet. The weight of those feet. So, we also have tutorials on each of these moves, which I linked up, so be sure to check them out if you need some help with the boxer skip. Good, back to the half. Good job. You guys are doing great. We only got a few more of these. And here we go. Regular to start, and then we'll switch to single leg. Good, guys. And switch to single leg. I'm gonna start on my left for about seven to eight seconds. Then switch to my right. Switch to your right or your left, whatever you're opposite of whatever you started with. Good. Done, back to the quarter, guys. Moving through this workout very fast. It doesn't have to be long. It just has to be intense, okay? Regular and run in place. If you do this right, there's no such thing as an easy workout or even a beginner workout. If you go fast, run in place. It should never be easy, guys. Small steps. Doesn't have to be big for the run in place. Nice, tiny, fast steps. Good. Back to the half. Boxer, I'm getting a little tired. Chill out on the talk. Regular bounce to start with the half. Boxer. Shifting, see from the side. Just alternating the weight of my feet. See how one knee bends while the other stays straight? Just shifting the weight of the feet. Good, back to the half. Guys, two more, and that's the end of this first circuit. Beginners, do this three times, advance to a four. Okay, start with regular. I believe we have single leg. That's right. That is correct. Go. Come on, guys. No more than 30 minutes, that's all it takes. Right leg. Doing single leg with the quarter pound. And switch, left leg, there we go. Good, guys. Ah. Done, last exercise of this circuit. Half pound, run place. Good, starting with regular. And I really want you guys to burn it out. Don't worry about messing up. Let's get right back to it. On this last 15 seconds, let's burn it out as fast as we can, okay? In two, one, go. Come on, guys. Three, two, one, done, good. Ladies and gentlemen, like I said, beginners, rest a minute. Do that circuit two more times, advance, rest a minute, do it three more times. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you as always for checking out our channel. Whether you're new, 
or whether you've been a dude or do that for a long time, just know that we super, super appreciate the support. And really what we wanna see is you guys do the thing. We just wanna see you get the results that you've been saying that you wanna get. So stick with it, comment below. We'll like answer your questions. You can DM us on Instagram. We answer those every single day. This is how tired you should be, by the way. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up below, followed by a subscribe so that you can get more videos like this to help you jump rope, get lean, and lift more. I'm Dan Whitmer, and on the next video, we're doing the thing.